The aspect in the ignoring function is perceived as something primitive and obvious, but also meaningless and distracting from what is actually important. Ignoring aspects manifestations vary depending on the type development. We are not going to cover type development yet, so in this video we are assuming only one mode of type development. So if you know your type and so far the rest of functions descriptions match your understanding, don't worry if the following doesn't. It's possibly due to a different mode of development. The aspect in the ignoring function coincides with the aspect in the role function of the complementary type, and therefore complementary types protect each other's roles. We will talk more about this and other relations between types later in the series. The aspect in the ignoring function is also the opposite version of the aspect in the lead. For example, if a type has ignoring extroverted intuition, it means that this type also has lead introverted intuition. Let's take a look at different aspects performing the ignoring function. Ignoring NI considers looking at the essence irrelevant. Since lead NE finds connections and similarities, the disconnected NI concepts are not seen as enlightening. Ignoring NE considers finding similarities pointless. It opposes lead NI that gives one a match or lack thereof. Hence, the similarities that NE finds are seen as a pointless blend that effectively connects multiple things without saying if they are the same or not. Ignoring SI considers finding harmony a weakness. It opposes lead SC that strives on pushing through. Hence, harmony eliminates the need to clash with obstacles and overcome, defying the purpose of SE. Ignoring SE considers clashing a waste of energy. Since lead SI is about comfort, facing off for the sake of a struggle is perceived as pointless fussing around. Ignoring TI considers stating what things are pointless, in opposition to lead TE that sees everything based on its function and usefulness, TI gives definitions while it doesn't provide any information and application. Therefore, TI is seen as stating the obvious, while its conclusions are deemed impractical. Ignoring TE considers practical considerations illogical. TI expects logical soundness, while TE will go for what works even if it's, for example, paradoxical. Hence, TI considers TE incoherent. Ignoring FI considers being guided by motivations of others a buzzkill. Since leading FE is about emotional states, toning down emotions in order to account for what's appropriate is seen as dispiriting. Ignoring FE sees being guided by mood as self-centered. Since lead FI exists in relation to other people, the capriciousness of FE is perceived as egotistical and inconsiderate. 